the forehead of your robot. You remember when a box of VHS tapes of SpongeBob SquarePants episodes were found from a hoarder's place? There was more than just a box of tapes. There were thousands and thousands of VHS tapes towering each part of the house. More of the same edited tapes were shown around the place. A VHS editor machine was shown in the corner of his room, along with blank tape covers. Turns out the owner was an editor of VHS tapes, and creating heavily bootlegged SpongeBob SquarePants episodes with some disturbing changes made to some of the characters, animations, designs and dialogue. Yes, a bootlegger. Well, no surprise that the guy had suddenly died due to a heart attack. Unfortunately, the discovery of the box of VHS tapes was only the beginning. Since then, several other tapes containing episodes of SpongeBob have been discovered. One of the examples was when an episode of Frank and Doodle and Life of Crime was simultaneously recorded at the exact same time, mixing the audio and animation into a huge disaster. While we didn't have proof of an animation cell being edited, there was a huge change we noticed, and it came from something we didn't figure out till then. In the infamous episode Wormy, the scene where Wormy starts to change was heavily edited, it started turning into a cocoon with heavily crunching and slushing noises, accompanying the background music. When the butterfly came out, it was shown a lot more monstrous and less than the original. Another occurrence was in the later episode Gun, where the same mysterious whispering voice happened, when Spongebob was saying go over and over again. When he stopped, the same voice from before came back. It said this. You may think that it's over, but you'll soon realize that the past is gone. The future is demolished. And soon, your mistakes are gonna come back with a force. Then, something interesting happened, when Spongebob got to the movie theater. The voice came back. This time, the screen was red. The voice said, Why are you listening? Your life is in serious danger. Your future might get destroyed if you don't fix the past and future. Do you understand? It's unclear who is behind the mysterious and disturbing tapes, but it's clear that someone is trying to make a message to Spongebob. There was a theory that the person turns out to be an ex-artist of Spongebob Squarepants who was fired during the ending of the first season. Another said it was rather Andrew Overton, Clint Bond, Drake Drymon or even Aaron Springfield. The last, and the most disturbing theory, is that the old man could very well turn out to be a disgruntled fan, who wanted to dedicate episodes of his own versions of every Spongebob episode. The only other weird occurrence was the Mockingbird Shriek Week hack incident during Halloween. We can only hope for sure one of these theories is true, 